this is North Carolina Prepper. Um, apparently the video on freeze drying at home, uh, the second part is gone. I don't know what happened to it, or whatever. I'll remake it later, but, um, for right now this is kind of what's left of them that I have in storage, so let me show you. When you dehydrate things, when you dehydrate things, they, um, they get, um, you know, no, they're dehydrated, but these are, let me get this up where I can hear it. Listen. See that? These are actually frozen, or, uh, yummy. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. I'm focused. Mm, doesn't look like it's focusing. But I want you to see that it actually has a cell structure in it. No, they're pretty thick too. So I want you guys to see the difference. That's actually holding the cell structure. So there you go. I just want to show you guys that real quick. Well, that's what's left of that batch, but um, that's the end result. And like I said, you you, you keep checking. By leaving them out, and see if they turn black, they're not ready. Um, as far as this, well, I had to <clears throat> replace, open up and replace the, the pellets a lot. Like every, I don't know, maybe 6 to 12 hours, or twice a day, morning and night. And then reapply the vacuum. And the vacuum <clears throat> would let the, uh, the ice supplement out of the, uh, the apple, so... This is just a follow-up. I'll redo the whole video. I've improved my technique since then. So I'll redo it here in the next couple of weeks when I get some time. <coughs> but uh, I just want to show you. This is them so far. They're, they're crisp. And instead of like leathery like they've been dehydrated. So there you go. That's just a quick update on that and a, a part two. Which I'll leave as part two but still. Alright. Please rate, subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks. Have a great weekend actually.